Hello there everyone, your fluffy armchair Admiral Latter is back with some more Transport Fever 2 action. <laughs> right, so in last episode, as you probably remember if you watched it, uh, we finished uh, our west uh, line or to be more precise west rail line and now it's time to invest a little bit more time and effort into road infrastructure because uh, for past like 15 episodes uh, or, or perhaps even more uh, I've actually completely neglected uh, any any development of uh, of any road infrastructure so uh, yeah, because because of my continuous uh, focus on on rail network, uh, that area of of my uh, business is actually uh, in really really bad condition. So in today's episode, uh, I decided to to expand uh, road infrastructure a little bit, uh, starting from west uh, side of the map or starting from west towns uh, because that's the area we left off last time so i decided yeah let's uh, let's give them a priority over um, over other towns and so i did uh, the problem is that it would make a very 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 long video so my plan is to show it to you eventually uh, because that would be very wasted uh, video material if I wouldn't do so. Uh, but I'm going to fast forward through uh, through all that stuff so you can basically look at the speed uh, or sped up uh, version of, of that build. And finally I will join you back uh, when when we will finish uh, setting up our uh, highway uh, between uh, Royal Livington Spa and Narisboro. Uh, and yeah, when we, when we finish uh, working on that, uh, I will definitely come back to you and we will send some trucks, uh, we will set up some cargo lanes and we will start uh, talking about future of uh, of this area and how do we want to progress with its development. So sit down, relax and enjoy the video and I'll see you soon.
So, as we have finally, oh, that's a perfect timing. Uh, right. Ooh, we got something new, right. That's interesting. Okay, we'll sort it out soon. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? Yes, uh, as we finally finished with uh, our highway project, uh, basically we built a highway which you could see um, just a few seconds ago or a few minutes ago. Uh, probably I, I put that as a uh, some sort of a speed build uh, compilation video or like part of of the video because it's still the same <laughs> anyway now it's time to actually make some use of this infrastructure uh, so we are going to actually start sending cargo over uh, different places on this west side of the map and there are quite a few opportunities to to actually make money uh, first of all I can start producing uh, goods I got um, oil well I got refinery uh, so that's first step of, of our production line so then I can produce plastic which I can then send to goods factory uh, locally I can uh, obviously produce steel which also supplies a goods factory and that will produce goods that I can send in various places like Narasboro for example or watch it so Mansfield has a great great opportunities to actually grow especially now since we got uh, access to uh, motorway or highway whatever uh, you want to call it so we can definitely send some high-speed uh, trucks, we can send some high-speed trains as well. Uh, so there is a lot of transport links. Uh, we can obviously use some stone that we can import through uh, Royal Livington Spa, send it all the way down to Narisboro, uh, turn it into construction materials, and then send it back. <laughs> I'm I'm not sure how I'm going to organize that, but yeah, it is still a way to, to progress. Uh, obviously, um, while sending back uh, construction materials, I can always uh, get some extra grain from local farm and send it to, back to uh, Royal Livington Spa as well. Uh, because obviously we got a food processing plant which can turn that grain into into actual food so that's another uh, opportunity to make some money and transport some goods uh, so we will begin today uh, we won't finish it today because it's gonna take a lot of time we will begin at Royal Livington Spa which I'm currently at and yes, uh, we are going to set up food production line, which as you can see, it's not gonna be that easy as you might think. There's quite a lot of a uh, hill uh, to, to go for, for our uh, lovely trucks and they will struggle. They will struggle a lot. Anyway, uh, I don't need to build a motorway in here uh, I'll be more than happy if my trucks are able to hit that 80 km per hour and I reckon they won't be able to do such, uh, such things so uh, there is no panic, no rush uh, we can easily manage uh, to sort things out in this area anyway uh, yeah, our trucks will struggle to, to climb on that hill and there's not much I can do about it. Uh, because sooner or later they would have to eventually climb. Uh, I can only support them in, in their needs as best as I can. And that's what I'm going to do. Oh, just look at that, I, I just love that bridge. It took me forever to build it. 
because apparently the game didn't want it to, to cooperate with me. But it's engineering masterpiece. Anyway, let's focus on our goal. So I've just set up uh, two basically cargo stations that will aid me in my goals. So without any further ado, I will just set up a line, which will say truck, and that's gonna be um, grain delivery one. Fantastic. And now, with crane delivery, we need obviously a food delivery. And food will go to town center, same as every single other um, produce. We will send everything to Royal Livington Spa Annex. As you can see, this station has a little bit of a complicated. Um, way of moving around but well uh, I believe my truck uh, driver will manage to to go through that maze anyway let's call it Royal Livington Spa um, food. there we are fantastic so with that done, we need to get a proper trucks. And we do have such. Um, we need to build a proper depot, I believe. Or do we have any depot? No, we just got tram depot. But we don't have any truck depot. We could eventually use a depot that's in Mansfield. And you know what? Let's do it. Uh, trucks can always uh, use a motorway to, to actually get there. There's no need to build additional buildings. So, for a grain delivery, I would like to use something that is designed to, to deliver grain that will give me a boost uh, so a dump truck will have 21 capacity and it can reach 80 kilometers per hour is there anything else that can carry more which would be useful no there is nothing so <laughs> paradoxally uh, Peter built uh, which has capacity of 25 seems to be the best of my trucks however it weighs 20 ton and has power of 350 kilowatts so it will struggle a lot on that hill while well technically smaller truck man 19304 dump truck has 220 kilowatts and weights less than a half of that so it won't struggle as much on that hill as, as Peterbilt yeah I, I think I'm gonna use that one so let's use um, let's say eight of those to eventually transport that um, grain so I can send those and they are on their way and now I need perhaps like two of these on a high maintenance to actually deliver food to town where is that? Uh, let me just find it. There we go. So these guys are on their way um, and they will soon start generating some, some food and, and generating some income as well. 
Okay. So now we need some oil to be delivered to Narisborn. And again, uh, we need to set up uh, some sort of uh, truck station. It is very simple. It doesn't take that long to, to actually set everything up, uh, I'm not going to lie. Right, uh, we are short on proper infrastructure in here um, at oil well. Um, what we got here is the slowest road possible, I think it was a yeah, small country road which limits my speed to 60 km per hour, which is not something that I will benefit from. Well, I will upgrade that road and now I can build another road depot. Uh, let's give it 30 lanes but I just need one platform. Don't need more. Just one platform. That's all I need. There we go. Uh, we managed to save all that way by putting uh, this cargo station pretty much right next to, well, right next to, right behind the curve. Uh, the problem is that Mansfield doesn't actually have a road depot. So, what can we do to remedy that situation? We obviously need to put that road depot so that it's within a catchment area of anything that can deliver me um, resources. So I can perhaps cheese the system a little bit. Oh, Russian VL ATS. Sounds like a pretty interesting loco. Anyway, let's focus on our today's task. Uh, I will just build that station here and hopefully when I connect it to the road it will end up being in catchment area of the station. And it is. Good. Uh, that means that everything that I will drop on this station will contribute to that uh, cargo station so I can start sending various uh, products through this cargo station that is very 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 good information and good news right anyway um, I will use oil well and hmm, how do I want to plan it? Do I want to use trains, send it via train, produce it and then send it back? I think that's the best course of action in this case. Let's let's just do it. So our route be as follows. I need to deliver some oil. That's gonna be truck. Right, that's oil processing. Uh, and it will move oil back and forth. Now I need uh, to produce oil in Mansfield. So again, I need a new line that will deliver to um, train station. This is uh, that's oil export from Mansfield. Fantastic. Now I need to move oil or establish a delivery route uh, between uh, goods factory and uh, sidings. 
I can use the same tracks because after I drop off uh... oh no I can't do that or can I in fact I can yes yes that's gonna make things complicated uh, but I will eventually benefit from it so what I'm gonna do I will establish a track route between Mansfield sightings and Mansfield goods factory and then uh, a separate track between Mansfield goods factory and Mansfield chemical plant uh, because I will need both of these anyway so they will start uh, transporting goods both ways eventually which is very very good for me um, because after I produce goods I want them to be delivered back to Narasboro so eventually I will need to use both of these routes anyway so why not set them up right now okay so how do I want this to be built hmm. let me put station in here go um, it longer perhaps I might in fact make it one grid longer uh, but I don't need that much more uh, mostly because it will be just a transfer station so I don't need to um, get that many trucks in right and now can connect that with this street there we go so the axis is from both sides it will be much easier for uh, for the trucks to to move around what is that sound is that oh yeah perhaps it's it's that crossing Oh well, right, so uh, that's one station or one delivery building, now we need another one. In here, but I just need one platform. There we go. That's what I want. So, first route will go between Mansfield Branch and Mansfield East. That is uh, that is oil plastic. Okay, that is going to be. another route which will deliver goods and oil there we go I might eventually expand that uh, to, to something more uh, perhaps uh, wait, how can I do that I definitely need to import some uh, iron ore and I need to move some coal to, to steel mill to start producing that steel then move steel to uh, the goods factory but that will be a separate line I don't want to uh, use anything more than, than, than that Besides, I don't want to set up a separate line that will just go between steel mill and, uh, and sidings or, or train station because there is no need for me to, to actually export steel. I can produce steel uh, at Royal Leamington Spa if I need to uh, and I will probably have to import steel to, to Mansfield to eventually uh, supply goods factory. But for, uh, um, no, not goods factory, um, machines factory. 
uh, because Mansfield needs machines, in fact, to grow. Uh, anyway. Where did I finish? Right, I need to send some trucks. So I definitely need a truck that will go between a chemical plant and Mansfield East. And that can't be a, like a cistern uh, truck uh, because I will be transporting both plastic, which is a final good, and uh, oil, which is a liquid good. So I can't use this tank truck because it will be able to, to transport only one of the goods that I, that I need to transport. I could use flatbed, but this one doesn't have a capacity. Or I could um, send like two of these, uh, eventually. Or I can use a MAN 19304 tarpaulin truck, which is smaller, uh, but it can still do the job. And it's perhaps cheaper, isn't it? Yeah, it's much cheaper than, than using the big ones. However, I could use like just two of those big ones and as the road is even, it will be very, very fast. So I'll use... Um, how many do I need to use? That's the good question. I'll start from two. They can be at the lowest... Um, supply as well. We don't need to uh, invest that much money to to keep uh, when is that oil plastic there we go. I don't need to invest that much to, to actually upkeep those uh, those two vehicles because they will be moving uh, outside the town. I will have to invest something in upkeep of, of these two vehicles and uh, because they are going to actually get into town. Right, and again, same story, uh, these will be transporting goods and they will be also transporting liquids. Um, so once more I need two of these guys and these guys need to actually be on some sort of maintenance uh, or be properly maintained if I want to uh, keep my income up and if I want to keep Mansfield growing uh, because if I will start sending a lot of trucks which I'm going to do uh, soon Mansfield will become a little bit polluted and pollution is not supporting uh, growth of, of the cities anyway in order to, to finish our production line which I still haven't done Mostly because I haven't sent any any vehicles on this line. Yes. Ooh, train four. Where is that? Oh, I know where is it. Right, train four is far, far away on different part of the map, so I won't be bothered by it. Right. This route doesn't require that many vehicles. And it will be transporting only oil so I can benefit from that and send tank trucks I'm gonna need three four of them do I yeah four of these guys needs to be ready at high maintenance and they need to move stuff between Narasboro station and Narasboro uh, oil refinery so that is uh, set up first trucks are on their way and soon we should start getting some income out of it and finally one last truck that I need to send and again these ones will be transporting only oil and that's gonna happen only in one direction so I need about six perhaps eight these guys on high maintenance unfortunately you will most likely lose money some uh, lose some money for me anyway that is going to be Mansfield oil export 
there we go and one last thing that we have to do is to establish a rail network between Mansfield and Narisboro so we do have a proper train station to, to actually uh, support some cargo transport so we just need to start sending goods from Mansfield and which platform is that uh, that is very very important right now we got four cargo platforms we don't want to use platform number one we can use only platform two and three so I will use platform two for that and from platform two I need to get to platform it's a good question uh, I don't need super long train but I definitely need a train that can reach a little bit of a speed so perhaps if I could send it to platform 2 because it's just a drop off and, and move out I should be alright and then back to back to uh, Mansfield fantastic that is going to be rail cargo that's gonna be Fantastic. Right, so now I need to find a train and I need to be able to buy a train. So I've put these nice thingies on Royal Limington Spa and they both happen to also act as a vehicle depot. So I can actually buy trains and send trains from here. So let's do that. So I need a diesel locomotive and there's no other way for me. That said, that diesel better able to, to hit some high speed. Right, I could go for class 47 and that thing can, can hit 153 kilometers per hour. Uh, I could do that. I could go for class 218 and that's 140 but I reckon this thing won't be able to actually speed up to that high speed or I can use a BR13 perhaps one three zero I need to use yes. Yeah. Uh, one three one is too slow, one three zero would have a proper speed of hundred and forty. It has enough power, uh, twenty two hundred uh, as opposed to um, okay, class forty seven has hundred fifty three kilometers and power of two twenty seven hundred. So I think class 47 will be my winner. Right, so uh, I'll use this nice blue one. Uh, I like it. So let's let's do it. Uh, let's add this one. And now I need some cargo wagons. Uh, and here's the problem. Wagons will limit my speed to 120 which is not a big deal for me it is a big deal for for my uh, passenger train fortunately it's gonna take a few years before we are gonna get some, some uh, cargo wagons uh, that will support better weight uh, and, and better speed 
Right, so I can put 18 into this uh, white tank car and I can put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of those bad boys. Okay, let's let's try six of those bad boys. I'm I'm scared that it might be uh, a bit too a bit too long. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, we'll trace this uh, train as it goes on on its first route, and we'll have a look if if it fits on a train station or not. Oh dear, train 11 is very uh, in very poor condition. Anyway, let's see if there is anything else I can do at this moment. Right, I could. That's a good question. What I could do? Could eventually establish steel production and finish off goods factory. The question is how do I want to send goods? Huh. Could use trains. That's for sure, and I won't be producing that much goods. Uh, or I could use trucks. That's interesting. That's definitely interesting. Hmm. I can definitely send some wood because we need some wood from a sawmill. In order to, to be able to produce uh, machines, machine factory. Right. As we are waiting for, for this train to, to actually reach the goal or, or reach the target, I might quickly set up. Oops, uh, wrong button. Might quickly set up another route. So. This is going to be very, very long one. I need two platforms, a drop-off one and pick-up one. This one's gonna be here. Uh, what do I want to do with that? Yeah, let's do this one. Let's add a street connection here so I can uh, avoid moving through the city or at least uh, reduce the amount of movement through the city. My train just reached Mansfield which is very very good so I definitely can't do that yet. Uh, well, let's hold my horses for a second. I just need another platform here perhaps I can use this road it's gonna make things easier so that's Mansfield coal so that's gonna be truck Great. Another line will be very, very long. That's gonna be uh, that is iron. There we go. Right. Uh, 
where is that train? The train is there, so I still got some time so I can buy vehicles. For coal, I need just perhaps two of them, and they'll be fine. So, truck, Mansfield, coal, and they are fine. However, for iron, I need at least 10. These guys are gonna go a long, very long route. So they will definitely need to, to spend a bit more time and the more they bring, the more that, um, uh, that uh, steel mill can produce before it runs out. Anyway, my train should already be arriving at the station. Yes, it is. So let's have a look if it fits on its own platform. If it not, uh, then I need to fix that before that train can proceed any further. There we go, I managed to remove that tree oh wow it fits perfectly uh, I could actually add one more uh, wagon to, to it fantastic it is just perfect Amazing, that's absolutely amazing. Yeah, that junction might not be the best one. Uh, it's, yeah, it, it doesn't let uh, my train to, to fully fit, but as it's leaving, uh, it's not a big deal. If the train would be stopped while entering the station, that would be a huge problem mostly because it would block that station effectively. Anyway, our first deliveries should start soon. Uh, now, finally, if I'm already on it, I can now set up one last uh, route today. So that is going to be, in fact, like this one. I can now start sending that steel to, uh, to goods production plant so that's gonna be truck Mansfield steel there we go that steel we sent using two trucks on a very high maintenance. Um, there we go. Fantastic. So that is uh, goods production established. So as soon as these trucks will uh, make some way for uh, for any other uh, deliveries to, to be picked up and, and sent, uh, I will perhaps be able to. Uh, operate normally or this town will be able to, to operate normally so right now um, this station is uh, a little bit gridlocked I'm afraid but things will balance themselves um, on, on their own the trucks will will pick up a proper uh, spacing and, and, and eventually those uh, routes will will start work effectively Anyway, um, that's pretty much it for, for today's video. Uh, we, we managed to, to do quite a lot of work, uh, as you probably uh, could, uh, could already see. Uh, we, we built an entire um, highway netro network in, in this area. Uh, we managed to pick up some speed on, on 
deliveries so uh, so we started to to deliver some uh, some cargo in into various places and hopefully that will uh, stimulate the economy of of this area and in in the next episode i'm i'm really hoping to to see those uh, towns really really grow uh, and expand uh, into into larger like chunks anyway uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and if you liked the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to get informed about my new uploads hit that notification bell button and don't forget to share your comments down below. Have a great day and see you all later. Later. Out. <laughs>